what's good everyone it's your boy welcome back to another video plain and simple if you plan to play the remy chord you need to watch this video it's gonna blow your mind because it blew mine smash the subscribe button smash the like button i want to see 1000 likes and 44,000 subscribers so smash them both the best the remy chord deck in the planet right here right now let's go <laughs> I told you guys that this is the best the Remy Chord deck you'll ever see. And if you watch the Remy Chord, you need to watch this video. Now I'm going to showcase you guys exactly why. Let's go. So, you look at this deck instantly. You look at this hand instantly. And clearly you see a few cards. Clearly you see Oracle of Zephra. So you know you're playing some Zephras. And I'm going to explain why. You just got to stay tuned till the end. But what mainly catches your eye is Jack in the Hand. And where art thou? So these two cards, clearly you're like... Bro, Trip, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to showcase you guys why this is the best the Remy Court deck of all time. Jack in the Hand. What's Jack in the Hand do, boys? Please tell me. What's Jack in the Hand do? Jack in the Hand searches Cutea. It searches Cutea. It literally out, literally just says, add Cutea from your deck to your hand. So, your opponent, when they see these three cards, why would they want to add a Pendulum? Why would they want to add a Pendulum? They're going to add Magician Souls to their hand. Good for them. I'm very proud of them. They're gonna add Magician Souls. That's fantastic. Well, you're gonna add Cutea. Now, Cutea is gonna get the probably the most underrated Sulfur Chord, Graysea, which this card's insane. You're gonna see why later. Like, this end board is literally gonna fucking blow your mind. Like, this end board's a fucking auto win FTK, and you're still gonna have multiple, multiple cards in hand for a follow up. It's ridiculous. Anyways, so, Cutea, you wanna get, this so is the main part, you wanna get your Graysea. Next. You go, where art thou? So it doesn't matter if you open Jester, Souls, Gracia, Cutea. Doesn't matter. They all search each other. That's the, oh my God, my mind is blown, bro. Like, doesn't matter if you open Cutea. Doesn't matter if you open Souls. You're going to end up having them both. That's the beauty of this deck. And that's the beauty of where art thou and Jack in the Hand. We are, here's a secret, boys. When you're playing Terrain Record, you need to play a rank level one. Level one orientated deck. Where you play Where Art Thou, you play Jack in the Hand, and you play Magician Souls, Jester, and Cutea. So there's like 15 different correlations and combinations of them. I don't even know what correlation and combination mean regarding this, but it sounded right. They add each other, bro. They add each other. They add each other, bro. Oh my god. And it's not even done there, boys. It's not even done. Like, the, this combo, bro, we don't even play Servant or Abductor. I didn't want to cheat with using cards that are that broken. We have to give ourselves a handicap by playing Pendulums and give our opponent a chance. So I'm not even playing Servant or Abductor. You don't need it. And I'm going to show you exactly why. You look at this hand right now. Please tell me what's missing, okay? Like, yeah, you know, Ur Oracle of Zephyr will get you the Zephyrath. So yeah, it'll get you the high scale. That's good. We don't want to scale our Gracia. How are we going to get a low scale? How are we going to get a low scale? Well, time to blow your mind even further. How are we going to get a low scale? How about we just search the low scale, huh? You're playing level one spam. You're playing level one spam. So not only are you going to plus off Magician Souls, not only are you going to plus off Cutea, not only are you going to get them every single turn because you're playing Jack in the Hand, where art thou? But you search the low scale. Pendula Mucho! <laughs> oh my god, this deck's insane. You literally search Pendulum Mucho. And please, everyone tell me, what scale is Pendulum Mucho? Zero. You're playing a level one deck. You could Pendulum summon your level ones. Not only do you get a low scale, but you could Pendulum summon your level ones. And it gets even better. I know you guys are sad. Look, but how are you going to Pendulum summon level ones, bro? You just XYZ with your Cutea, and it's in the graveyard. How are you going to Pendulum summon a card in the graveyard? Oh, wait a second. The same scale you add is not only a low scale. It's not only level one, but it's pendulum effect literally says to pick a pendulum in your graveyard and put it back in your extra deck. <laughs> oh my God. You literally put the Cutea back in your extra deck and pendulum summon it. You could even put back your Jackal, but we're going to bring it up before our pen summon. So we don't need to do that. But in some scenarios, that's massive. And we're still not done. Like, is your mind blown yet? This is how you play the Remy Chords, boys. By Pendulum summoning the Cutea. Q 
Futea be not being level four or three sucked, but the fact that it's level one doesn't matter. You take advantage of it. Your opponent's gonna see all these little monsters and think nothing's coming. Bro, you guys don't even know the half of the end of this combo. This combo blew my mind, and when I created it, I thought I invented fire, bro, like a caveman. But let's go, we're playing a different version of caveman here. We'll restage special souls. We play this for another reason. It's just a generic link too, because recital starling is a wind, by the way. And he was going through this, restage summon this, Oracle of Zephra. This is why there's amazing synergy with the Zephra engine. Not only does it give you the high scale, okay? But it gives you a free card all the time to send off the souls. And you're getting the souls every time. Why not take advantage of one of the broken, most broken pendulum cards in the game? Souls is a pendulum. It's not a fucking effect monster. It's literally, it says here, spellcaster slash effect slash pendulum. I don't care. Now you're going to activate souls effect to draw two. These cards, they don't even help us. We don't care. We don't even need these cards. They're not even that good. We literally don't need these cards at all. So next, you're going to want to get a Jackal before your Pen Summon. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. So here, we're going to want a Pendulum Summon. So the beauty of this is that you can summon the QT, you can summon this, you can summon this, you get your effect. Jackal, you protect you now from Nibiru. If they Nibiru you before you bring out the Jackal, you really don't care whatsoever. Like, it literally just doesn't affect you. You're still ending on three negates easily. So what we're going to do, we're going to search this, we're going to search this. Okay, fantastic. Well, what are we going to do now? Well, let me tell you guys something. Uh, does this look like a broken board? Like, does it look like you're going to have a broken board? Probably not, right? Well, time to blow your guys' mind here, okay? So, uh, you got all this plus so far. You're so d good for the next turn. But how are you going to get your negates? Well, can everyone tell me right now uh, what, what type this card is? It's a winged beast. This is a winged beast. Well, why not take advantage of winged beasts in your deck, boys? Why not take advantage of winged beasts in your deck? Why not go Reprodocus if you don't have them? And Reprodocus makes this a wind. Uh, uh, sorry, it makes us a winged beast. And now you got Simorg Bird of Silver Renati, okay? And you know what this card does, boys? This card brings out the barrier motherfucking statue that you're playing. And now you're thinking, Triff, that's so cool. But they're just going to enter battle phase and attack your barrier statue. Oh, are they now? Are they really going to enter battle phase when you Zephra War them? Are they really going to enter battle phase when you Zephra War pop? They're normal summon. Are they really going to enter battle phase and do that? Hell no, bro. And look at your hand. This adds you a feel. Like, every turn you're getting a plus one. They can activate a spell card. Now look at this. You go in phase. Who's doing anything to this, bro? You, Your whole sp spells on traps are set. It, I have to run the risk. Of, what if I don't have enough cards to summon this shit? And it, you know what? That's fucking crazy. Look at this. Boom. Easy. Fucking easy, boys. And now you might think, okay, Triff, look, 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 I want everyone to look at this. You cannot play with this card in the field. Absolutely not. If you normal summon to try and attack it, you can't. You got Divine Strike. This protects it. Jack on the gates. And if you still don't think this is enough interruptions, Gracia yeah, didn't even need to get your field spell. This field spell adds back every single turn. So you'll add back this next turn, you'll add back this next turn, you'll keep searching with, with Kutea. You don't even need to get this card out, bro. If you guys feel you don't need it, we search Elegance. Elegance on our turn, we're not, we could have draw two. But we don't want to draw two. We love these scales. And on our turn, if they find a way to get rid of the scales, uh, well, use elegance to put new scales. You have a literal pen call. This is Pepe. This is literally Pepe. This destroys Pepe. This is a better deck than Pepe. And I'll live and die with that statement. Not only are you going to be able to get a plus one every single turn from the field spell, but you also have a guaranteed follow-up with the best normal summon in your deck. You normal summon add. Elegance completes your scales, even if they get rid of it. And if you want to, you can just draw two. It's actually fucking insane. It's actually fucking insane. And if you still don't think this board's enough, you didn't need to summon Gracia. You could have uh, searched Angolea, special summon Angle, Pendulum summon Angolea, Angolea effect bring Coolia, which by the way is a win. Ja ja. So this works out incredible. You could make your choice. If you want an extra interruption, Kulea is a, is a Costco Dryden right here. You could use this card as an interruption if you wanted to, but you really don't need it. Like, what are you going to use this for when you already have an auto win here with this and this and this and this and this? Fucking GG. All right, fucking. G fucking G, GG, that's it, GG, game over, that's it. When you start your turn, you're gonna have a third card to draw for a turn, Harmonia is gonna add you a fourth card for a turn, you have F the Pendulum Musha, oh my god, it's fucking beautiful. Now I'm gonna showcase you guys a deck list, if you guys got this far, it's gonna smash the subscribe button, this deck's insane, smash the like button as well, like, honestly guys, I'm absolutely in, in shock, I'm not saying this for views, this deck's legit fucking amazing. Uh, it's with the exception of Musaseya, which makes this deck even more broken. 
Musa say you can do some crazy shit with that in this deck. I'm gonna take this unrated on my next stream and play this all day unrated. I fucking love this deck. I really do, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, now I'm gonna showcase you guys the deck profile. So as you guys saw, this is my Zephra Doremi Chord level one spam deck. I have a very similar version with this, but I added Endymion's over Zephra. So I tried Endymion instead of Zephra's. If you guys wanna check that out, I'm posting it on my Patreon. So you guys can go check that out if you want. It'll be in the link below. And right now I'm gonna showcase you guys a deck list of the version you guys saw, which in my opinion, the best one is the Zephra version. But if you guys wanna check out the Endymion version, I'll post that as well on Patreon. If you guys wanna check that out, let's get straight into the deck profile. I specifically wanted to make this deck profile as consistent as possible. I want to open all these cards as often as possible. Every card in this deck to open is amazing. There's no bricks. Open Zephyroth, you're golden. Open Kutia, you're golden. Open this, it's the best fucking Pendulum Summon. It, oh shit, accidentally got rid of the best card in the deck. Like, people don't understand how good Gracia is. This is hands down the best the Remy Chord right after right after Kutea, this is the best the Remy Chord. Why? Because it's like Zephyr Nui. When you summon Zephyr Nui, you get a massive plus. Well, when you summon Gracia, like you don't only get a plus one. Like, cool, you get a plus one, you get the field spell. The field spell every single turn searches anything you need. And you could use each of their effects once per turn. Now, people don't realize how broken this card is. It not only gives you the best follow-up in the game, but it also says if you control Sopal Chord Pendulum Monsters with at least three different uh, scales. Uh, like even or odd, even and odd, destroy a card. So you not only get to draw a card, you can search out a card every turn, but you get to destroy a card going second. And this is gonna be, is it's there for your follow up. This is the best follow up field spell in Yu Gi Oh. And you are still forgetting. It literally turns any of your Doremi cords into scale nine. That's fucking insane. It turns every one of your Doremi cords scale nine. So after Kulia is gone, you just pendulum summon her back. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? This deck's insane. If you need an extender, you got this. Anglia Pendulum summons this before the field spell. You got Pendulum Mucha to keep adding every turn, and you search this card out. You can play DD Crow if you want it, but I decided it. I, I don't really care for it. I, you, so a lot of times you could use this card's effect twice, which is not once per turn, but I think one's enough. Extra deck is not tight. We could put a lot of cards in there. Like the what Where Arv Thou does and Jack and Hand does in this deck is absolutely unbelievable. Like they're never dead. It's um, It's incredible. The fact that you could restage your souls this often is insane. And it seems like you don't play many spell casters, so how can right hand resolve? But the only way this is going to the grave is with Magician Souls, right? Unless you want to find other ways to pop it. You're searching Magician Souls, you have nine Magician Souls in your deck. Nine. Three souls, three Jack in hand, three where I've doubt. You have nine ways into this card. So when Souls is on the field, you send your Jackal. So you get free protection from Nibiru, something that every Pendulum deck that is not Endymion does not have, but you have free protection from Nibiru, and you get the resolve right hand, because Jackal's on the field. Like, bro, this is actually ridiculous, so, so good. Double Zephyr Nui, one Zephyr Tubin. You want to keep one of these just in case, if you want to make Zephyr at the low scale, just in case, because don't forget, any of these could be high scales, because of the field spell. So it's good to have one of these. One Jackal of these, double Jester. I would honestly like to play three Jester, I really would. Jester makes this deck go round. You need to at least play one. Absolutely at least one. Sometimes Jack in the Hand will want you to search a Jester. Like if you already use your souls, you're gonna want a special Jester. And that one extra summon is the difference between Selene and no Selene. And a Selene is access code going second if you need it. Uh, so you're playing triple Herb Doctor, triple Jack in the Hand. These cards are unbelievable. Like I said earlier, I didn't even feel like playing Servant or Abductor, but you could very easily do so. You could literally play this as a 60 card deck, add Servant, add triple Abductor, add triple Mastery, add one Mighty Master, add more draw cards. But I wanted to give people a chance. A chance, bro. That's how good this deck is. A chance. Instant Fusion. Triple Elegance, which is insane in this deck. Uh, four Oka Zephyr, Triple Zephyr Providence, Triple Restage, one Right Hand, one Harmonia, one Divine Strike, one Zephyr War. You can choose between the other. Post side deck, I prefer Divine Strike to stop uh, Dark Ruler uh, or Zephyr War to stop anything else. This is a side deck, amazing. This is extra deck. And one thing to note, you look at this deck, there's a lot of search cards. Look. If your opponent draws you, it's very easy to stop draw. You just have to politely ask, sir, is it okay if you don't activate draw? And then if you ask very politely, they're gonna say, sure. You're good, you're fine. You, you don't worry about draw, it's fine, don't worry. And even then, if, they, if they're rude and still decide to draw you, you're just gonna draw instant fusion the same time they decide to be rude. It's very simple solution here, fuck draw. So as far as the extra deck goes, you just need one link one, uh, to link off if you need to. One Musaseya, which does wonders in this deck, like actual wonders. 
uh, then you got uh, this just in case it's like a generic link too basically uh, with the rank one because sometimes it's like you need you need two zones going downwards and you have a relinqu relinquished anima on the field and you don't want to mascarina like it's good to have one of these and also because it's a win so it's solid to have one Rapidakis, uh one mascarina one Celine. you can play two if you want but one is honestly plenty one simorg uh one Appaloosa, one access code uh one of these one lira lusk and going second i can't stress enough how good this is going second because before you even activate a scale before you play any scales or any zephras or anything like that you just go straight into the rank one zeus so going second this has something that no pendulum deck has you're playing level one turbo so after you get your pluses from your level ones like after you search in Kutea, after you get souls whatever you just literally just go straight into rank one go into like any of these bro go into a fucking futro go into assemble nightingale and then assemble Nightingale their ass and then attack for game uh, or 800 and then you just go into Zeus or if it's a, a, a simple by game so you're going to downer to get an extra Zeus for you like this engine here the rank ones uh is what really puts this deck apart from other pendulums you have instant access to Zeus and the cards that you XYZ for you don't give a fuck about you already added for them and then pendulum Mutra you can eventually add back thanks to restage like reborn cards and all these spells this deck is insane I love it uh this is absolutely my favorite version to play pendulums at the moment and I'm going to play this on Rated tomorrow. So if you guys want to hop onto the stream tomorrow, we will do that. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For all who got this far, this is like my second protein shake of the day. I hope you guys are keeping up with your fitness. If you guys have already seen the fitness streams, I'm very happy that you have. And I'm not doing this for myself. I'm not doing the fitness streams for me. I'm only specifically doing it for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community and the best fans in the world. I love you guys. And from the bottom of my heart, I want you guys to get fit with me. I I'm going from fat to fit. We could all do it. Just tune in on my streams, 9 a.m. Eastern time. We can lift together. It's way more fun to lift with friends uh, than lifting alone. You'll actually get your workout done and it's beautiful and gets you ready for the day. Ready to conquer the day. Ready to destroy people of Pendulum. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the subscribe button. I really want to hit 44,000 subscribers for the end of the week. Don't make me very happy. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's streams and videos. Peace.